three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome to Dove Valley. I'm Nick Kosmider along with Mark Kisla of the Denver Post. Today we're starting our new segment, Three and Out, uh, in which we talk about three topics concerning Broncos country. And kids, let's start first off right away with handsome Tom coming to town this weekend. Tom Brady uh, doesn't really like Denver, doesn't like to be hit in Denver. Number one question, can the Broncos pass rush get to Tom Brady? No quarterback likes a messy pocket. But handsome Tom really dislikes a messy pocket because he's very good at shuffling his feet, moving up in the pocket. If you can collapse that pocket around him, he's not very effective, and he has lost a lot of games here. So can the Broncos pass rush get to him? You tell me. Well, Tom Brady is on pace to be sacked for the most times in the career. Already 21, his most is 41 in, his, in a season in his career, so he's on pace uh, to get that. The Broncos, last couple games, haven't been able to get that rush. But again, you mentioned in Denver, uh, they always seem to have the energy to get after Tom. I think that this is going to be a breakout game for Von Miller, Shane Ray, and some of those guys. Okay, let's go to the running backs. In Philadelphia, the running game stunk again. Of course, they had to give up on the running game because they were giving up so many points. But how should they break down the carries for these running backs? Yeah, I, I'm of the mind that this, this three-back system needs to be condensed to two. And, and for me right now, I think Devontae Booker is the guy running the hardest in that backfield. Um, he's fresh. He hasn't played a lot of games this year. And, and I just think that right now he has, with, with the way that right side can open up, open up holes, I think he's the guy, in my mind, um, that can be in there and can, and can really hit the hole. I hate to disagree with you. So I won't disagree with you. And I hate to agree with you, but, and here's the reason why. I love C.J. Anderson. I love his fight. I love his spirit. I love his intelligence. But I do have to agree with you. It's time for Devontae Booker to see what he can do. They drafted him for a reason. Let's see if he can bring some explosion to that running attack. Let's finish it with this. Uh, and quite simply, the Broncos have lost four in a row. You are what your record says you are, and they're three and five. The question now is, have this, has this team lost faith that it can be anything other than that? You know what? I think it has lost some faith. And it, over the course of the last four games, each time we go into that losing locker room, the team, the faces are a little longer, the words are a little shorter, and they know that this team's right at the breaking point. Can they s stop the snowball from going downhill? Yeah, what worries me is that, um, you know, Vance Joseph said uh, yesterday, or on Monday, that this is a team still trying to figure out its identity, its brand of football. And eight games into a season, don't you think that's too long to, to, be, to still be searching for that? If you're searching for your identity eight games into a season, number one, you aren't a very good football team. And number two, I don't think you're doing a very good job of coaching your football team. That's going to do it for us today from Dove Valley, along with Mark Kisla, I'm Nick Kosmider. We'll see you next time.